Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, we are going to discuss variables. And I know we're on like video 10, so maybe we're going a bit slow, but I'd like to think that we're going in a lot more depth than you might get in some of the other series out there. So although we're going slow, we are going in really good depth. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there! So what in the world is a variable? Well, it's something that can store a value for us. And the way we create a variable is first we have to come up with some cool name for the variable and then we assign it a value. So here is a really simple example. Age is the value 5. And I'm going to get rid of this print for a moment. We don't need that. So what's going on here? Well, there's three essential things. We have the variable name, also known as the identifier. So vocabulary. Next, we got the assignment operator. So similar to how, you know, the plus does something. Well, this equals does something as well. And what it does is it assigns a value to a variable. Then we got the actual value that we want to assign to the variable. So those are the three things going on here. And you can see that this is an int, so that's cool. I mean, Visual Studio has given us some tips. So age contains the value five. And you can do something like this in the interactive window. So if we open up the REPL, you can say age is five, and then you could get the value of age by just typing in age. So if when we type in the value age, we get the value five, well then we could probably just assume that anywhere five would work, age would work as well. So we can obviously go in here and say print and pass in five. So we could probably also say print age, right? Yeah, that actually works. So here's where we need to exit the interactive mode and run this. And you can see we get the value five. All right, so let me get real with you. So we're at a very basic level where some of the stuff we're learning kind of seems silly. Like why do we need to store the value five in this variable and then print the variable? Why don't we just print five instead? I mean, that's a really logical question. However, because this is such a simple example, we don't really see the value of variables. But if we're going to be building a complex application, we might need to use age 10 or 20 times and we don't have to want to type out that value 10 or 20 times. So let's imagine we have this print in here like, you know, 20 times here and we don't want to have to put five in there 20 times because if we wanted to change it, we'd have to change it everywhere. But now we only have to change it in one place and every single place will use that new value. So when we use five, it puts the value five and we use six, everything uses the value six. So that's the first benefit of variables is it prevents us from having to change code in trillions of places and then also reduces bugs and mistakes. So it just makes our lives better. And the second big reason we need variables is because we don't always know the value of everything ahead of time. In this situation, it seems obvious because we're just typing in six. However, this value could come from somewhere else. It could come from user input, so we could ask the user their age. It could come from a database. In that case, it would just read the database and whatever the value is, it would be stored inside of age. Or it could come from a text file or some other form of input. So we can't just always assume we can type out the value inside of the print. We often need to use the variables. So maybe I just went into way more depth of why variables are valuable than you would ever possibly need, but just so you guys are all clear, variables are essential and we're gonna be using them for everything. It allows us to make our code more general to where we don't know the age. We don't always know the age ahead of time, and that's the purpose of programming. We create applications to work with every single case. You know, whether your age is six or 25, we can change the application based on your age. These principles are simple now, but we can use these to our advantage when we create more complex applications later. So let's say we're building a website. We could do a check to say, hey, does this person have a membership? 
If membership is true, then we can allow them to sign in. If membership is false, then we need to kick them off and say, hey, you need to subscribe. <laughs> Speaking of subscribing, you should probably subscribe to this channel. You know what I'm saying? Now, another thing we can do with variables is we can use them inside of expressions, just like you would a normal number. So let's get rid of all these different age prints. And what we can do is we could say print age plus 10. And my dang phone is ringing. Claire, I swear if that's you. <gasps> it's been like 15 years, girl. Get over it. Okay, let's run this and see what we get. And we get 16. So six plus 10 is 16. Math guys, it's how it works. Variables can also be used just to make our code more readable. So for example, if we have some complex expression here and you know, we don't wanna, we could print this directly, right? So I could take this and I could print it here. And that's fine. However, that might not be as pretty. So if, if you just want your print statement to be nice and simple, well then what we could do is we could take that value and we could assign it to a variable. So we'll just say something like this. And then we could just print val. So yeah, we added a line, but maybe it's more clear on what's going on. We're calculating some value and then we're printing that value. All right, so that concludes our introduction to variables. So there's three things you need to take away from this. One, variables prevent repeating values throughout our entire program. So you should always avoid hard coding numbers. Hard coding is when we type out a number like this and doing that throughout the program is bad. We wanna do that as little as possible. You know, hard coding some stuff isn't the end of the world, but if you're repeating some certain number 10 times throughout a program, you're asking for trouble. The second thing is we don't always know the value of something ahead of time, so we can use variables to store that and work with it a little bit more generally. And third is it might make our code more readable by assigning some value to a variable and using that variable throughout our code. So those were the three things. The first thing is to reduce repetitive code. And then the second thing is to work with our code a little bit more generally instead of specific numbers, we can make general algorithms. And three is to make our code more readable. So hopefully I covered everything you need to know about variables and we'll be using them throughout the rest of this entire series. So yeah, should be pretty fun. Stay tuned for the next one.